Please try again. Let's see if it worked or not. I don't know. Oh, hi. Yes, I don't know. Sometimes it fails. Hi, thanks for joining. Welcome to the replay. So we're at the Lynn Museum. What is your name? I'm Judith Marshall. Judith Marshall. So we're here with Judith Marshall. Hi. Hi. And what is your um, position at the... I am the Education Fellow The at Education Lynn. Fellow mm -hmm. at Lynn Museum. And so tell us about the shoe. Well, this shoe, we're doing more research on it. Um, but what we know now, that it was um, part of the sa a sample shoe, and it was sent over from um, Cyrus Houghton, and he was a Lynn, I believe he was a shoe manufacturer. And he sent it down to someone, I forget the name, um, in the south as sort of a sample like this is what the shoes would be like this is um a russet brogue so this is what slaves often slaves would wear um slaveholders would buy shoes from um lynn manufacturers they sold a lot down south um so yeah it's, it's very it's very simple leather and no laces or anything so it was uh cheaper to buy wow that's amazing mm -hmm. Wow, that is that's that's wonderful. And so, who, who, what's the name? Spell the name of the person again that uh, who sold it? Yeah. Um, C Y R U S, -Y -R -U -S. and then Houghton. Houghton. Uh -huh. I'm trying to remember how to spell it. H O U G H O. No, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't remember how to spell Houghton. That's okay. There is a U in there, but yeah. okay. Well, that's interesting. So, so Lynn um, at one time manufactured millions of shoes. They were the shoe capital of the yeah. world. Yeah. So that is why they have a slave shoe that was made in New England and then shipped to the South because this was the shoe capital. Mm -hmm. And so when did um, the shoe industry start here in Lynn? Do um, you know what the beginnings I'm, of it were? I'm not sure. Probably the mid 19th century, but okay. I'm, I don't quote me on that. I'm, okay. I'm also new here, so I'm new to Lynn, learning a lot about the shoe industry. But this is something that we um, are starting to talk about more that we haven't in the past. The fact that Lynn shoe sellers, they made a lot of money um, selling to slaveholders. So we were profiting off of slavery, oh. even though at the time, we, you know, slavery was illegal in Lynn, but they were still able to profit off of it by selling you know, hundreds and thousands of shoes to slaveholders. Interesting, kind of yeah. interesting. Well, thank you so much. Okay.